Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. Hope you're doing well. Having a really great day this video. I'm gonna be reviewing the new Bitmain Antminer S21 Pro for you guys here. This is a 234 terahash, advertised a power consumption of 3,510 watts at about 25 degrees Celsius. So that's efficiency of 15 joules per terahash, which I will verify in this video. I will show you guys the power consumption that I'm able to achieve on this guy as well as my environment right now, which is around 30 degrees Celsius. So I'm expecting that it's going to be a little bit worse in efficiency because my environment here is a little bit hotter than what Bitmain has advertised. So we shall test that out later on in this video. I'm gonna go through everything regarding the efficiency of also other models. We'll do the comparison. And also there's been some new announcements of other models. But this Bitmain Antminer S21 Pro is available now in July batch of 2024. So thank you to altertech.io for sending me this Bitmain Antminer S21 Pro to showcase to you guys. If you're looking for any Bitcoin miners or even extra cables or parts like fans and such, go check out their website, altertech.io. I'll have it linked down below. But guys, let's first just go through first impressions of this model. First off, I can tell that these are not 120 mil fans. These are actually 140 millimeter fans. And I'm expecting that these are gonna be square plugs, similar to the S21. They have this power cable for their 120 mil fans. Okay, this is a 120 mil fan. Just to show you guys the size difference here, this is for a S21 or even the S19 19K Pros, they use the square style power plugs now. So I'm assuming this 140 mil fan is using the new style power plug here as uh, looks like these are probably gonna draw more power. Maybe this will be quieter as well because these are bigger fans, bigger displacement. But these 120 mil fans, as most of you know, for those that are Bitcoin mining or ASIC mining, these are quite high pitched. And so I will do a decibel reading test when we turn this on. So there's a big difference there. Looking at a regular S19J Pro that I have here, okay, the body style definitely looks and feels the same. The power supply feels like it's the same here. This is a 96 terahash S19J Pro. You can see that the body here is roughly the same length in this regard, but in terms of the hashboard casing here, it definitely is much wider and also a little bit taller as well. So it looks like, right, you can see the height of these two models, it's almost the same but the control board area for the S21 Pro is a little bit shorter. Actually, a, a good amount, maybe half the size of the previous models, the control board area looks like it's in half here. So in another video, I will take this apart and we shall see what that looks like. But just to show you guys the size comparison there from an S19J Pro and an S21 Pro, yeah, there's definitely some size changes here. Now, if you've gotten to this far in this video, I am gonna be giving away this S19J Pro 96 terahash model in this video. All you guys gotta do, comment down below your thoughts of the Bitmain Antminer S21 Pro. And yeah, just give me your thoughts regarding this model, good or bad, positive or negative, and if you're in USA or Canada. And I will choose the winner after 24 hours to my loyal viewers and subscribers who watch my videos day in and day out. Thank you guys, I'm gonna give this away to you guys. Okay, so comment down below. Okay, real quick, the power supply, it has the new P13 to C20 cable here, which was provided. The biggest reason for switching to this instead of the you know old school C13 to C14 cable is that that the power delivery and also voltage because these miners here are drawing more power now than I'd say uh, previous models. So that's why they went this way. All right, looking around the miner here throughout the back, looks pretty standard. Yeah, in the back, the fans, there's two another two 40 mil fans in the back. Power supply, exit here, exhaust. Okay, so it looks pretty standard like a regular Bitmain ASIC miner, but it definitely is a different size now. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in the Bitmain Antminer S21 Pro now. Okay, that clicks right in there. Now I'm going to plug the other end, which is a this is a C20 end. I have a 30 amp 240 volt PDU here. Okay, so this thing is going to be able to run on single phase 240 volt. Now I also need a ethernet cable as well. Okay, I'm gonna plug that in here. And you guys can hear it already. 
Okay, I'm just gonna grab this. All right, just gonna grab this and definitely a different type of wine. <laughs> Just starting up. All right, now it's ramping down. All right, let me go to the web GUI and set this up for Bitcoin mining and we'll see what power consumption it does. Okay, it's just ramping up right now. It's mining. We're using about 36, 48, 50 watts there. It's just starting up. It just started mining here. So I think it's just, yeah, we're showing 240 uh, terahash here. Just started like 31 seconds ago. Let me refresh this. 47, so you can see. We've already ramped up in over 200 terahash on this thing, which is quite insane. Okay, so gonna let this go for, I don't know, another 30 minutes, so I'll be right back. All right, it's been past 30 minutes. This thing's doing about 236 terahash, and the efficiency there is about almost 15.9 watt per hash. Yeah, the power consumption at the wall is 37.60, and yeah, it's not at the advertised 35.10 because my ambient temperature is 92 Fahrenheit, or for my non-American friends, it's 33 degrees Celsius in this area right now so yeah much higher as my ambient temperature is higher so that is actually really good to test because their advertised one is 3510 right at like 234 terahash but i'm getting about a couple more terahash than what they're advertised okay but anyways just to show you guys on normal mode all right now i want to try the low power mode on this thing there is a low power mode which i want to try right now so let's go ahead and change that to low power mode and we're gonna hit save okay so we will be right back okay so about after 20 minutes on lpm mode we're getting about 193 terahash on average and the power consumption has been stuck here for a while now 2885 watts and my ambient temps right now 91 fahrenheit 32 degrees celsius and I'd have to say, the fans on this thing is much be more bearable at these levels on LPM mode. So normal mode, these things were screaming and I could hear it upstairs. It was very, very loud. So uh, yeah, if anyone's gonna mine with these at home, make sure you have a place that you could mine with that and uh, noise is not a concern. All right, so LPM mode, in terms of the sound decibels, it's definitely much better. And if I go back, a bit more I could you know bear the sound a lot more it's 72 73 decibels and when I go into like another room or upstairs I can barely hear it so LPM mode at these temperatures in this environment it's not bad and so the efficiency that I'm achieving on this thing is about 14.9 uh, uh, joules per terahash, okay? 91 Fahrenheit on uh, 32 degrees Celsius LPM mode on the S21 Pro. All right, so that makes it really, really efficient. Okay, so I wanted to talk about a bit more of the risks regarding uh, buying, you know, a Bitmain S21 Pro. If you are a residential miner with pretty high electrical cost, you're more than likely not going to be getting into Bitcoin mining because it is quite a competitive game now i'd have to say so just by looking at the numbers where we are today with uh, as of making this video bitcoin price is sixty three thousand three hundred and seventy eight dollars very volatile of course so depending on when you're watching this it could be higher could be lower but looking at the current profitability of a bitmain s21 pro right now at 13 cents i'd have to say that is what would be roughly about pretty much breaking even maybe 14 cents would be breaking even on a uh, s21 pro right now okay so it's not very enticing for someone that has anyone that has higher than 14 cents per kilowatt hour now if you were someone that had 10 cents per kilowatt hour okay which you know there are some people out there but majority of people with 
you know, with residential electric, you know, costs have been going up now. So it's giving me, it's been getting harder and harder for residential miners. And I, I empathize uh, with those people. But looking at here at 10 cent kilowatt hour, an S21 Pro will make about $3.22 a day. And if we go down, like let's say to seven cents, then it's probably going to look a little bit better at $5.74 mining Bitcoin. Now I know it shows here on what to mine. There's Digibyte and Peercoin. I personally have not mined these coins with an, a Bitmain or a Bitcoin ASIC before, so it is possible that it could be a little bit more profitable. But use these numbers at your own risk here. What to mine shows a lot of other, you know, 256, SHA-256 coins as well. But anyways, you guys get the picture here, the current profitability here. You can actually go to what to mine and see an S21 Pro here. Uh, all right, so now looking at the efficiency of this miner, we did talk about it briefly already. But here are the numbers that I'm getting. I'll have this spreadsheet linked down below if you guys want to look at my ASIC efficiency sheet. This is where I update with all the numbers that I can get at the wall, the hash rates, average hash rate, and then of course the efficiency. And also have the price here for some of them and also the dollar per tera hash. So just looking at the Bitmain S21 Pro right now, the one that I have at my current environment, which is pretty hot, I have to say we're at 14.9 watts per hash or joules per tera hash. And so that as of right now is the most efficient Bitmain or Bitcoin ASIC miner out there currently. It's the end of June as of recording this video. So this is actually available now on altertech.io which can be ordered link down below if you guys are interested in this okay so now talking about i guess the elephant in the room is the future for bitcoin mining and there was announcements from uh bitmain back in i guess uh their wdms and then i guess uh, mining disrupt as well they have the bitmain s21 xp announcement here now i don't know if this is going to you know in terms of reliability i you know the xps don't have a really good track record so i don't know if that's going to go in line with what happened with the you know s19 xp models uh which i had one and i had issues with it so that was like one out of one uh, i only had one okay not like hundreds or you know 50 or you know whatever i've heard some people had issues with their xp models so with the S21 Pro that is currently out right now, which can get, you know, between uh, 14 to, you know, 16 joules per terahash, depending on your environment, it's quite an enticing miner. And if the XPs are going to be like that, not have great quality or reliability, and also the fact that, you know, the S21 XP will not come out till uh, Q4 or Q1 of 2025. All right, so that's still... Uh, I guess six months away as of recording this video. So the S21 Pro is available now. Okay, so that's also going to go in line with the Bitcoin network hash rate, which actually has been falling. Okay, it's actually been going down since the Bitcoin halving. So, I mean, that that's a given because also that with the Bitcoin price that has been going down, there's also, I would say, a lot of older, inefficient Bitcoin miners that have or, or that are still running or that have been running and now maybe they've turned off. So that's another thing to consider. You know, there's a life cycle with these, you know, Bitmain ASICs, uh, especially with Bitcoin mining. The incremental increase in the efficiency of these things, you know, like an S19J Pro 96 terahash, <laughs> which I am giving away here uh, earlier. I mentioned earlier, hopefully you guys got your comments in, that, you know, this thing gets like 30 joules per terahash. But, you know, it's been about, you know, three, four years later. We're now at, you know, available 15, 14 joules per terahash so that is really efficient on these models now and uh but yeah it's incremental as you know bitmain's been releasing i feel like a new model every couple months it feels you know we had like especially with you know s19 j pros uh, k pros s19 xps and then now the s21 and then the s uh, t21s and then we have the uh now s21 pro okay and then their new announcement of S21 XP, whether or not that's going to be good or not, I'm not sure. But it's only like, depending on the environment, I'm sure this thing, if I tested this S21 XP in my environment, I bet you anything, this, this efficiency would probably be over 14, maybe 15 joules per terahash, depending on how hot it is. Okay, so this is more, I guess, a realistic test, I guess, for anyone that's in a hotter environment in a way that this is going to yield this result in terms of efficiency. Okay, so I did look at also on Bitmain's website for any firmware updates. And as of right now, there is no firmware update. It's obviously a pretty new 
uh, ASIC miner and uh, try to do a firmware update. But yeah, there's nothing right now. I'm mining it to nice hash and it is working. Low power mode here, past couple hours, still around nine, 193 uh, tera hash average, which I already have stated here and the power consumption. Okay. So anyways, guys, that's it. I think that's all I really wanted to talk about regarding the Bitmain uh, S21 Pro. Thank you again to altertech.io for the S21 Pro to showcase to you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Let me know what you guys think about this miner and also which country you're from because I'm giving away the S19J Pro 96 terahash to a lucky winner. I'll choose the winner in 24 hours. So get your comments in guys and I will see you all in the next video. Appreciate you all. Let me know if you want any other testing done as well. Okay. In the comments, I will do another video taking this apart. I do want to check out the control board of this thing. So that's going to be interesting. All right. So I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one. Peace out.